Hello, welcome to this presentation about relative formula mass. Before we go any further, we're going to look just very briefly at the periodic table. Because the periodic table is a very powerful tool. It's actually going to help you in any exams. And it means you need to memorize less because you'll know how to use it. So you won't have to rely on your memory because you know how to look things up. Periodic table is full of element cells. Okay, and it looks a little bit like this, where you've got a small number that is the atomic number. You've got a symbol, and then you've got a relative atomic mass. Okay, the periodic table looks a bit like this. It's in order of atomic number. Now, something to draw your attention to, the key. Okay, the key here tells you where everything is on your periodic table. Now, on this periodic table, the relative atomic mass is at the top, followed by the atomic symbol. It's then got the name and the atomic number. And the periodic table is in order of atomic number, and it reads like a book from left to right. So hydrogen is one, helium two, lithium three, beryllium four, etc., etc. You just keep on reading it down. It goes a little bit wonky down here, but we don't need to worry about that today. So we have our relative atomic mass, we have our symbol, we have the atomic number. Now this presentation is about uh, relative formula mass, but what is relative atomic mass? Well, relative atomic mass is the average mass of an atom relative to 1 12th of the mass of an atom of carbon 12. And what does that mean? Well, if we take hydrogen, we have an atomic mass of one. But what that actually means is it's 1 12th of the mass of a carbon 12 atom. And it would take 12 hydrogen atoms to have the same mass as a carbon-12 atom. If we take magnesium, where its atomic mass is 24, well, actually, it has twice the mass of a carbon-12 atom. And it would actually take two carbon-12 atoms to have the same mass as one magnesium atom. And we can use this. Different atoms have different masses. Relative formula mass is actually the sum of the relative atomic masses. Water. Water has the formula H2O, and that tells you something. It tells you you've got two hydrogens, one oxygen. And if we use the, uh, the periodic table to look up the atomic masses of each of these, then hydrogen has an atomic mass of one, oxygen has an atomic mass of 16, and if we add these up, then we get 18, because you've got to remember here, 1 plus 1 plus 16, and it's 1 plus 1 because there are two hydrogens. That's what the chemical formula tells you. If we look at some other examples, sulfur dioxide. Now, sulfur has an atomic mass of 32. Oxygen has an atomic mass of 16. And therefore, our relative formula mass of sulfur dioxide is 32 plus 16 plus 16 which equals 64, and there are two oxygens. Remember, it's this 16 plus 16 because there are two oxygens in the chemical formula. Sulfuric acid, H2SO4. There are two hydrogens, one sulfur, four oxygens. Okay, hydrogen is one, sulfur is 32, oxygen is 16, add them all up, and it's one plus one plus 32 plus four lots of 16, is 98. Okay, calcium hydroxide. Now, we've got a set of brackets here, so you've got to be a little bit careful. This two on the outside of the brackets means you've got two of everything inside the brackets. The atomic mass of calcium is 40. The atomic mass of oxygen is 16, and the atomic mass of hydrogen is one. Okay, now, The relative formula mass of calcium hydroxide then is 40 for the calcium. And then you've got this 16 plus one, which is the oxygen and the hydrogen inside the brackets. But then I've multiplied it here by two. It's just two lots of everything inside the bracket. And that adds up to 74. What I'd like you to do is pause the video and have a go at these. No, oh, I said pause it. Well done.
Okay, so here are the answers. So sodium chloride, there's one sodium, one chlorine, 23 and 35.5 is 58.5. Silver bromide, 108 plus 80 is 188. Phosphoric acid comes out as 98. Aluminium hydroxide comes out as 78. And magnesium nitrate comes out as 148. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, presentation and that you now know more about relative formula maths. Thank you.